especially our females. I hate when our females are being discriminated. When I look at the media and I see the fierce advertisement that they use our females to do as a male, it pleases my heart sometimes. But I know future Jamaicans, future leaders, I know sometimes most of these things come true once. But I'm saying to you today, and I pray, and I am decreeing it as I stand here, that none of you inside here, none of you inside here, will go astray, but will come out to something to make Jamaica proud. I am with this group, this honorable group. I am serving with these honorable persons. Yeah. And I am proud here to talk to you. I didn't want to say this, but I am pushed to say it. Me and one of my smaller brothers right now, we just got a patent. And some hurricane pressure block. And if our system goes within another few months, it will be one of the first in the world. And it is coming from Jamaica. So I'm saying, so I'm saying to you today, keep focus. There may be distractions. There may be persons around you that want to deter you from your vision and your dream, but stay focused. When I used to go to school and when the rain fall and you see the uppers, but when the second and the water and the car would wet, sometimes you know your own your little school friend they might either really want them to see and understand what is going on. You have to just put the foot on the foot there and you have to draw that piece of cat out there and you have to walk and you have one. Not saying that my mother and father did not try. But I come from a garrison area which it was getting so volatile and my mother didn't want me to be a part of that. So she brought me out to someone who should believe who would have taken care of me. I don't know why I'm saying this to someone today. And when she came and she leave money for my upkeep, that was not given to me. But I was focused. There was an aim. There was that determination to read somewhere. And I live today to testify. I live today that I can talk to you. Currently in St. Thomas Nadui, I am reviving an old structure that when I, when I went to St. Thomas, it was bush. And through Mr. Rudy Page and the team from the St. Thomas Cultural Steering Committee, we were able to have a blessed, peaceful, and a well-supported labor day cleanup at that community center. It has become alive again, and I, I, I see seniors in tears because they did not dream of seeing that community center come to life in their lifetime, and it happened. And I'm saying to you today, don't let anyone kill your dream. Don't let anyone lead you astray. Just focus. Pray. Because prayer is the key in everything that we do. Just be focused. And God will see you through. My prayers is with you. And you will hear more from me because I'll be coming back to Papi in. And anytime these wonderful person are in Jamaica, I will always be around. The only one thing can stop me is death. I'm not ready for that yet. So I have a lot more to do with you, and you will hear a lot. 
about this group and we'll be doing great things. We want to empower you, ladies. Hold up with my head. Be proud. Be proud. One love. Blessing. Mr. I am happy to present this book um, for the Landuvi Youth Club. The focus is on early career guidance and respect. And I'll be happy to visit your youth club and have a workshop or a rap session with them on this. So let's keep in touch. I want to say thank you. Thank you very much.